Also, if you watch uh, some of the Scream, uh, Scream, Scream movies, the first three Scream, the first three Scream movies, we're also talking about the top one percent because like every every top one percent, uh, they're only as uncool as like a four percent, or they only play uh, video games and are sports. They're only as bad as uh, like a four percent or something. I, don't know, I, th- I think I think they, they they count like intelligence and like converting people, like how how well you believe in God, how good you are at accuracy, sports, shooting guns, and that that was basically based on your percentage of. So top one percent, like he, he, the worst he goes for any any category on those four category categories, like being cool, being smart, believing in God, or being good at sports or video games and stuff. Uh, and sh- or sh- sh- aiming guns, uh, only goes out to a four percent. That's like a one percent. So that's why the first Scream movie came out in nineteen ninety six. And uh, if you watch the third Scream movie, also it was like the coolest one. That the killer in that one was an actor, and they were metaphoring the three the three degrees of the superior beings. Was the silver, the bronze, the silvers, and the golds, and then the golds, and and, and the third one. Uh, if you watch the kill count, it was like Hollywood letters, because that's what they're talking about, single digits. And uh, like I said, I had a lot of dreams that did say this stuff. Like I, said, I think I did see the proof that it was. And even Jesus and God, uh, God left clues to, the, to where it was real. And like I said, at the bottom of the ranks, you do get punished pretty bad. Like I said, a higher God might really take you down, make you make sure you don't care about being cool, make sure you don't care about this or that. Uh, just based on who was worse sometimes. I don't know, like I said, it was something possible, but if you watch the kill count in the, in the screen three, yeah, you'll see in the beginning there's like Hollywood letters and a helicopter. But even in that one, the killer ends ends up being, uh, in, in, Scre- in Scream 3, Scream 3, in Scream 3, he, he, uh, the killer ends up being like Sidney Prescott's like half-brother or something. But he was like a director, he was like a director, like a Hollywood director. I think he was rich. I think I did see it, but from what I remember... I forgot to read the plot thing, but from what I remembered, it was, I think it was, like, the rich director who becomes, uh, who was rich, who was rich, who was rich and, like, a killer, and, like, he was, um, and that was the whole thing, how Scream, uh, in Scream 3, the ghost face guy, the killer, he, he's, he was, like, more perfect, like, his whole, his whole suit was perfect, and he had, like, a cool voice, and that, that was metaphoring 1%, and it was, uh, yeah, that whole thing, it was like that, where they're still metaphoring the three degrees, so it was like the one Scream One was like seventies. Uh, Scream Two was Scream Two was eighties, and then Scream Three was nineties. Yeah, Scream Two, Scream Two, Scream Two was eighties, and then Scream Three was nineties, like a single digit. And then uh, then even in Scream Three, there's like the movies called Stab, which are metaphor in that movie, and uh. And it was like that. And also, uh, and also it was like that where they were metaphoring, they were metaphoring this, uh, ranking system again, and it was, uh, also I believe in movies when they're getting killed, you know, those beings that make those movies, they are higher dimensional beings, they are where God is, the same realm God is, I think there's a realm where there's stop time, so you go into this realm, and time isn't moving here, so that he can leave there, like I said, he can leave, to a place, and he can, it'll be like one million years, and he can come back, and it was two seconds for you, but one million years where he was, so he just leaves and comes back, and it was like so much time for him, but then it was like two seconds right here. I think this was where those movies are made, as far as I know, uh, so then they're killing, they're kill, cutting up real bodies, I think I've seen the movie, it's like real flesh, there's object shape-shifting, object shape-shifting bodies to make the movies, and it was like this, where as far as I know, as far as I know, this is what how these movies are made, I know these beings that make the movies, and that's why Star Wars was all good, like they actually made ships and then like and then from what i know the angels in my body aren't even allowed to look for a second because if they see some of the stuff they'll see what it what just doesn't look like and it was like real quality movies it was like real pricey movies i mean it almost was like it took like 20 million to 20 million dollars to make the movie only it was like it was really like movies like that like you could imagine like it, and it was like hypothetically hypothetically like if a real person tried to make a movie with 20 million dollars you'd see it would be it would be garbage still but for, it, it was more like that with those movies i mean even to them it was like in heaven, it'd be like those movies are like twenty million dollars to make, but it was like that where you needed you needed object sh- object shape shifting powers to make the movies, and uh, you need to, you need to be you needed to be able to morph objects to make the movies, and it was like this where uh, even they were metaphoring there in single digits like Hollywood because they were like Hollywood, but they were also metaphoring like one percent also because they were like Hollywood because they were like so cool and like better at everything, and it was uh, like the real celebrities of of uh, existence. Basically around here, at least, and uh, unless there's unless those higher gods, like I said, depending on what's going on with some higher gods, it was different. But um, 
Also, in the in the second Scream movie, Scream Two, Scream Two, Scream Two, the the actor that played in the Hitman movie, the Agent Forty Seven, Agent Forty Seven in the Hitman movie, it was uh, was about the video games, also Hitman, and uh, he he was in that he was in Scream Two. That was metaphoring that, like converting people, getting people to heaven, and uh, you know teaching people what you learned when you when you uh, learned about God and Jesus, and that was the metaphor there about Scream Two, and that was the whole hit, Hitman thing, and Agent Forty Seven, because I think like a top twenty. A top 27% is, like, the minimum in this position that I'm in, that I'm in, or it's, like, the main spot that they're in, like, was a top 27% at least. Or there was, like, something going on, I think. But I still have um, on other things to uncover in this mystery. Like I said, there's still stuff to learn, and, uh, like I said, learning is always encouraged. Uh, I always encourage learning. It's always good uh, to learn, you know, always, uh, there's probably something to gain, and there was always, obviously. But learning was important, and, uh, even for me now, I'm, like, trying to learn more still, but, uh, and it was, uh, and yeah, so it was like that, uh, and that was the whole thing about Sydney, Sydney Prescott was SD, like the word Sid, or you could say the word, say the letters, the letters SD, the, the, le the letters SD, SD for like single digit, like S, the beginning, be the beginning of the word single is S, and the beginning, and the beginning of the word digit is D, so it's like SD. And that was the thing about Sydney, like Sid, it was like SD, you say SD together. If you put the two letters SD together and you say the word, it's like Sid, 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 and then it's like Sydney, so Sid. And that was why it's Sydney Prescott. And uh, and also there was a kid named Billy Prescott and Malcolm in the Middle. And that was a joke because he's like in the center of everything, like everything revolves around him, like everyone. He's like the main sh the main show, he's like the main character. And also the Scooby-Doo also play uh, the, the character from uh, Scream 1, Scre the Scream 1 movie in 1996. That that character played Scooby Doo. He was he was he was uh, the voice of Shaggy, I think, or like he wasn't the voice of Shaggy, but he played Shaggy, Shaggy in uh, some of the some of those uh, mo movies, the Scooby Doo movies, and uh, and that was a joke because like when you're a single digit, like the whole ten thing, and Halloween and Halloween, and it's like they were they're always chasing ghouls, and there was witches, and like it was all about Halloween. So that was the thing about Shaggy and. Uh, And then also was, uh, and there was also, in the Scream 3, they were also talking about his mom, like, it was, like, Sidney Prescott's mother, who was, like, having sex with people in Hollywood, and, like, I started crying when I saw that a little bit, because I was just seeing stuff, uh, like, he cared about his mom, and lately I've, I've uh, uh, like I said, I've been hearing a lot about all the stuff about, like, Tia and, and Aunt and, like, Uncle Jack, Uncle Jack, and also Uncle Moe's or something, uh, Look up Uncle Moe's, uh, from from The Simpsons. Just when he opens some, when he changes his bar into a restaurant, and they're talking about like, Uncle Object Morpher, like Uncle Uncle O M, Uncle O M, like was it I think, or Uncle Emo or something. I don't know, I think it was something like that. Yeah, it's Uncle Mo, like o Uncle M O, Uncle M O, because it was um, uh, Uncle M O, because of Object Morpher, I think, like O M. Object Morpher, like the first letters of Object Morpher, Object and Morpher, so it's O-M. Or it was like Object, like O-M-E, like O-M-E, like uh, O's me, because if, if I find him, if I find him, like he'll, he'll start helping me get people to heaven and stuff, uh, some of these real superior beings, I think I was hearing uh, something like this, and it'll let me live with them and stuff, and there was also like Uncle Wo, like Uncle, if you flip the W, flip the M into a W, and it's W-O-E instead of M-O-E, so it's like Uncle Wo. Like, like, when I tell him this stuff, he'll be like, whoa, and he'll, he'll know. Uh, possibly a bit better, maybe, um, I guess. But my mom doesn't believe it. That's why I was getting sad about the Scream 3 movie. Scream 3 movie. It's, it was like, oh, he was, like, mad about his mom being, his mom was, like, a whore or something, I think they were saying. And then he was, like, sad, and then his mom got killed, and, like, it was like that. Where it was, like, I don't know, I was just getting sad because my mother... Uh, I mean, like I said, those other mothers I know would take care of me. They'd help me convert a few others. And uh, my, my mother actually uh, doesn't want to convert and uh, doesn't believe in God, you know. And did eat a lot of plastic and she does, you know, I was just getting sad about it, but there was a... Uh... That was another thing about that and, uh... yeah, the Scream movies mean a lot to me now differently from what I was seeing before. Uh... But yeah, and, uh, and then, yeah, I was watching some clips of the, uh, some other clips apart from the kill count. Of Scream 3, because that one looked real cool, and I was like, I always picture the, the three in Roman numerals. 
I picture a 9%, and I always picture this cool thing that I think the higher gods are doing. Uh, but yeah, it was like that. Where, um, it was like that. They metaphored it there also in the Scream 3. It was like the best. That was a pretty gory movie, but yeah, it was. Uh... All right, then.